The incident, according to eyewitnesses, happened on Wednesday night around 9 p.m. One of them has been narrating the incident to City News. I got a call from somebody around 9.30. Said there is a fire here. So that at that time I have to rush and come here and see if it is true. But I came here and I have seen that it is true. I saw many people are here, including the fire service. Yes, they did their best want to stop the fire and we, we are all support them and do it. But glory be to God. Around 12 o'clock, they finish everything for us. Yeah. Shop owners are currently counting their losses as they lament the effects on their livelihoods. Mami Ifwa says she has lost her source of income as her items worth thousands of Ghana cities have been destroyed. Many of us here, they have papers. Me <laughs> The swift intervention of the fire service prevented the fire from spreading to other shops. The Ashanti Regional Public Relations Officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, DO3 Peter Ade, who has been speaking to City News, says there were no casualties. Around 9.36 p.m. last night, we received a distress call reporting a fire at Asokwa near the ARC building. We quickly dispatched our tender to the scene, and when they got there, the fire was well developed. And... Um, they called in for assistance, so we dispatched two more tenders to the fire scene. The fire affected five metal containers, a wooden structure, and four vehicles. There were no casualties. By 10.35 p.m., the fire was under control, and by 11, 11 p.m., we had totally extinguished the fire. As a result of the wind direction, um, the heat wave affected the four vehicles, but the five metal containers and the, four, and the wooden structure were totally burnt by the fire. The victims of the fire who say they have lost their sources of livelihood are calling on the government for support. For Sinis, Fatih Amin Ibrahim, Asqua Ashanti region.